Welcome to an important EFT nugget of attachment injury intervention. Catching bullets when the bleeding wound of an attachment injury splatters across the room. Imagine a gay couple whom you've been working with for several months enters your Zoom room, looking particularly disheveled and not at all like their typical neatly groomed selves. Typically, both men would be sharply dressed in suit and ties, having stepped away from work mode to enter this online therapy session. But instead of his regular suit, Jamal is wearing blue jeans and a wrinkled t-shirt. Tony in baggy sweatsuit, while of course being the picture of comfort, appears like he's wearing the clothes he had slept in. He gives you the sense that he dragged himself to the computer and that he'd rather be anywhere else in the entire world. He's done it again, announces Jamal in a firm, hostile tone, just as we were getting somewhere in our relationship, just as I was beginning to trust that he is all in, I discover he has continued contact with Ron and they've been sleeping together again. It's not what you think, mutters Tony as he nearly slumps off the screen. This is my limit, pronounces Jamal, never again. Here I was, facing this job interview, needing his support and encouragement, expecting a calm, quiet dinner with him the night before. And not only did he forget I had the interview, he spent the entire evening with Ron again. After several attempts to interject with, it's not what you think, Tony slumps off the camera almost entirely and says in a flat, cold tone, I give up, guilty as charged. This is more than whimpering guilt, bristles Jamal. This is clear and obvious intent to destroy, not only our relationship, but me as a man. Whew, here we are facing an escalating, challenging couple therapy session. Escalation that's particularly raw in the face of an attachment injury. That is, a specific event where one partner violates the expectation that their partner will be there for them in the moment of need. Jamal expected Tony to be there for him and Tony wasn't. This was a particular moment of crucial need, of cr critical anxiety and fear before a big job interview. Attachment relationships are safe and secure bonds where intimates have the implicit expectation that the other will be there for them during a time of emotional need. When this expectation is broken, the trust is shattered. The trust can be repaired if partners can have a, what we call a healing injuries conversation, an open, vulnerable sharing and responding with empathy, remorse, responsibility, and rebuilding of trust, or it can be a full shattering of the trust without that kind of conversation. If Jamal and Tony are sitting in your Zoom room, you may feel your heart sinking with disappointment at this setback, or you may feel yourself flooding with agitation, wondering, how do I step in to calm things down? How can I create enough safety to do some therapeutic work? How do I protect Tony from the accusations that are coming from Jamal? But how do I also protect Jamal, who obviously feels betrayed and terribly let down? You may feel stunned with all these bullets to catch and wonder, how can I protect and validate each of them? EFT has at its core the therapeutic macro intervention of the EFT tangle. And in moments of escalation, we use move one of the tangle, reflect present process as a way to contain escalation while joining with clients, validating their different positions and containing the aggression with reflection, validation, and reframing with attachment informed conjectures. Sue Johnson calls this intervention of containing and reframing the aggression, catching the bullet. 
So, for example, Jamal, when it hurt so much that Tony wasn't there to have a relaxing dinner with you the evening before your big job interview, you flood with rage, feeling like all the trust that you were building has been washed away, yes? It's almost like you step in to stop any comments he makes about what happened when it seems he doesn't understand the enormity of how let down you feel. Am I getting it? And Tony, I see you throwing up your hands almost in defeat, like you don't know how you can possibly repair or begin to repair this injury, or how you can even get a word into the conversation. And then you shrug your shoulders and slump away. That, of course, could look to Jamal like you don't even care. But I hear you really did not want to hurt him like this, and you really still do care. Am I right? Each partner in turn settles down just a little following this containment of aggression. Jamal likely begins to feel a little better to hear the therapist does understand his rage. And yes, he doesn't feel that Tony gets or even cares about the pain of his injury. Tony calms down a little too and returns fully into the screen, perhaps feeling more able to be present now that the therapist recognizes he does in fact still care. He cares very much yet about Jamal and he feels good the therapist gets that. So we've caught the bullets, we've contained the aggression, and now we will slowly assemble each partner's emotion and discover together how their repetitive cycle has taken over once more. Then we will shape encounters to de-escalate and form new disclosures and responses. Thank you for listening to this Attachment Injury EFT Nugget. Catching bullets in the face of a bleeding attachment wound.